Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. Disney animatronics are a subject that gets covered a lot on this channel. I'm a huge fan of audio animatronics, so I thought it was about time to follow up our recycled animatronic episode from earlier this year and focus on a different type of animatronic recycling. One of the most expensive and time-consuming aspects of producing animatronics is sculpting the molds, whether it's a human face or an animal. So to cut time and costs, Disney has reused and recycled many animatronic molds from one attraction and put them in another. By changing a character's complexion, makeup, facial hair and clothing, or changing an animal's fur, suddenly you've created a brand new character. Many rides and attractions have quite a few familiar faces that you've probably never even noticed. So today, while looking at animatronic history in Florida, California, and Paris, we're going to be counting down the Top 10 Recycled Disney Animatronics Part 2. Number 10. Wide-Eyed and Terrified One particular human animatronic in the Jungle Cruise at Magic Kingdom was originally designed for the Haunted Mansion. Mark Davis and Blaine Gibson are two well-known Disney Imagineers who both worked on the Jungle Cruise and Haunted Mansion. Davis designed the characters and Gibson would sculpt the animatronic molds. Well, as your doom buggy descends backwards into the graveyard, you'll find the graveyard caretaker holding the lantern. He's wide-eyed and terrified, right? Well, as we take a look at the trapped safari scene on the Jungle Cruise, there's one particular animatronic that's also wide-eyed and terrified. Looking at the low man on the totem pole getting poked by that rhino, that animatronic's face is no one other than the graveyard caretaker from Haunted Mansion. Now, he does not appear in Disneyland's trap safari scene since it was added in 1964, five years before Haunted Mansion opened at Disneyland. With that bucket hat slightly covering his eyes and the safari wardrobe, it's easy to not recognize him, but this animatronic's face was definitely recycled. Number 9. Birds of a Feather the Disney parks are home to a variety of parrot animatronics, but there's one parrot that's been recycled a few times over the last decade at Walt Disney World. During the 2006 refurb of Pirates of the Caribbean, a blue and yellow macaw parrot was added to the scene with Captain Jack Sparrow at Magic Kingdom and in the loading area at Disneyland. Well, if we head to the Mexico Pavilion at Epcot and enter Plaza de los Amigos, on the left-hand side at the bottom of the ramp, you'll find this same Parrot Audio animatronic. It's used for the Agent P's World Showcase Adventures game. It appears to have been added around 2009 when the interactive game made its debut theme to Kim Possible. While most recently, this same animatronic has shown up once again in Adventureland right near the entrance of Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't you? Don't you? I'm just the messenger! Coincidentally, it's also used for another interactive game called A Pirate's Adventure, Treasure of the Seven Seas, which debuted in 2013. And sure, it's a simple parrot animatronic, but since the mold frame and design was already created once, recycling and duplicating this relatively common parrot with the same articulate functions just makes sense. Number 8. Pirate Ghosts once the ghosts on the Haunted Mansion materialize, some familiar faces make up the 999 Happy Haunts. Characters that made their debut on Pirates of the Caribbean in 1967, found their way into the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland in 1969, then at Magic Kingdom in 1971. The ride's usually really dark, but this low-light footage from our friends at LMG Vids makes the ghosts much easier to see. So the auctioneer from Pirates of the Caribbean is actually the ship captain spinning in a circle right here. Now that whistling pirate in the jail scene? Well, he can be found a few times on the Haunted Mansion. He was recycled as the ghost blowing out her candles on the table, and as you make your way into the graveyard scene, a few of the instrument playing ghosts on the left hand side were also recycled from the same mold. The bagpipe and the flute players seem to have the same face, and now that you're aware, it's pretty easy to make out that it's the whistling pirate from the jail scene. It's a perfect piece of animatronic recycling, since whistling and blowing require the same facial expressions. 
You make a few of them look like ghosts, and you won't even notice. Well, until now. Number 7. The Dog Days So there's a little misconception around a couple dogs at Magic Kingdom. The way the tale goes is that Rover from Carousel of Progress and the dog with the key in Pirates of the Caribbean are said to be the same dog. There's many sources online saying this is the case, but if you take a look at both of them, they don't look identical at all. Rover is much shaggier than the dog in Pirates, not to mention that the dogs in both attractions have changed multiple times over the years. So maybe what's actually being implied is that this is a case of recycling the same mold and not using the exact same animatronic. That would make sense. They're both in the same sitting position and look to be about the same size. But what do you think the story is with these two Disney dogs? Comment below. Number 6. Elderly Haunts So we previously talked about a few of the 999 happy haunts at the Haunted Mansion. And at the time when the ride was being built at Disneyland in 1969, Carousel of Progress had its home in Tomorrowland. Well, the grandma that's sitting in the rocking chair from Carousel of Progress can be found in the ballroom scene of the Haunted Mansion. Imagineer Blaine Gibson sculpted the figures on both of these attractions. He just recycled the animatronic's face and body mold for the Haunted Mansion. Once Haunted Mansion opened with Magic Kingdom in 1971, the grandma was reused again in this version of the attraction. But this also means that the grandma from Carousel of Progress was in Magic Kingdom before Carousel of Progress moved to Walt Disney World in 1975. Number 5. Monkey Business The tropical rainforest scene in Epcot's Living with the Land features lush landscapes and some animatronic animals which include these cute monkeys. Well, when the attraction opened in 1982, the monkeys were recycled from another tropical attraction at Magic Kingdom. In the Cambodian temple scene on the Jungle Cruise, you'll find a group of monkeys playing around with some treasure, and two of these animatronics made their way into living with the land. The most obvious is this monkey with the baby on its back. It was seen in Mark Davis's designs for the Jungle Cruise, and on the ride, you can find this pair on the right-hand side. The other solo monkey in living with the land was recycled from this monkey right here. Instead of holding onto an urn, it's holding onto a vine in the rainforest. Number 4. Phantom Dreamfinder At Disneyland Paris, their version of Haunted Mansion is called Phantom Manor, and it's actually placed in Frontierland. Well, in the Phantom Canyon scene on the ride, you're able to find a familiar yet extinct face from Epcot. The original version of Journey into Imagination featured the Dreamfinder as one of the main characters. Well, in October of 1998, we lost the Dreamfinder during the ride's refurb, but he's actually been hiding in Phantom Manor since it opened in 1992. The animatronics for Paris were all produced at Central Shops in Florida, so a face mold like Dreamfinder was readily available, and that's why it was recycled and reused as the mayor on the ride. If you take a look at his facial features like his cheeks and nose, there is no doubt it's him. He's just missing that full bushy brown beard. And who knows, maybe one day Disney will recycle the Dreamfinder mold back into Journey into Imagination with Figment. We can dream, right? Number 3. Triplets This next bit of recycling is a little different. So when you get to the elephant bathing pool on the Jungle Cruise at Magic Kingdom, the star of the scene is Bertha. She's placed right in the center, taking a bath in the waterfall. It's an iconic part of the scene. So what Imagineers did when designing these animatronics was they duplicated and recycled the same animatronic mold two other times in the scene. There's one elephant on the left-hand side before the waterfall, and there's another one on the right-hand side directly across from Bertha. This animatronic recycling can also be seen at Disneyland right there and there. Well, this was done so if the Bertha animatronic needed to be removed and repaired, they could swap in one of the other elephants in her place. Losing one of the two animatronics in the pool is much less noticeable than having Bertha's spot just left empty. It's a really clever bit of recycling, and it helps keep the Disney magic alive every single day. Number 2. Presidential Space The Hall of Presidents at Magic Kingdom features dozens of unique animatronic characters. 
Many different face molds have been sculpted to represent the various presidents. And a lot of these presidents are actually disguised and recycled in Spaceship Earth at Epcot. The Egyptian priest on the left is William Taft. In ancient Rome, the senator is actually Teddy Roosevelt and the guard is Zachary Taylor. A little further up, the scholar on the left sitting on the ground is Franklin Pierce. The writing monk is John Adams. Gutenberg standing with the magnifying glass is James Buchanan, and his assistant in the back is Andrew Jackson. Now, presidents aren't the only recycled characters in Spaceship Earth. In the list that Walt Disney Imagineering released in 1982, it said that the loot player was Dwight Eisenhower. But over the last while, many have come to think that it's actually John from Carousel of Progress. I mean, it really looks like John, and it would make sense since the violin player beside him is actually the daughter Patricia. Number 1. Recycling of the Caribbean You ready to have your mind blown? Well, Pirates of the Caribbean features dozens of different audio animatronic pirates, but when they were creating the ride, there was only a handful of faces sculpted, so they actually reused the same faces multiple times in the ride. They just disguised them really well. Using Magic Kingdom as the example, we'll show you starting with the whistling pirate in the jail scene. He's known for his round face and cheeks. Well, this same mold was actually recycled on Carlos the Mayor who's in the well, and the second guy tied up in that same scene. Next, let's take a look at this drunken pirate in the burning town scene. Take note of his hooked nose and wide face. Well, he's found in the exact same scene as the mandolin player, and this pirate on the steps across from the auction. Another example is with the pooped pirate holding the treasure map. Take note of the large crease between his cheeks and jaw and his rounded nose, because he has a doppelganger in the auction scene. With some dirt on his face, a different wig, and a couple of missing teeth, the pooped pirate got a new life behind Red. There's many, many more examples on the ride. Like this drunken pirate on the bridge with the eye patch. He looks an awful lot like Captain Barbosa in the first scene, doesn't he? Next time you sail the seven seas on Pirates of the Caribbean, keep your eyes peeled and see how many different faces you can actually spot. So, have you ever noticed any of these recycled animatronics at the Disney parks? Which is your favorite? I'd love to know! Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any videos from the Disney parks that you'd like to share with us to be used in future videos, follow the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel, and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like!